Today on Fast Food Face Off, we're doing everything s'mores. Let's crush some calories. What's going on, Tasty Vibe Tribe? So, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you know that today was supposed to be an in restaurant review. Unfortunately, Due to weather and some scheduling issues, we had to cancel and then we had to do a different video. Since this was done on the fly, we asked you guys what you wanted to see this week. And it was between S'mores and Wingstop's new fried chicken thighs and S'mores just barely beat out. So I have Ben and Jerry's Gimme Some More Ice Cream. I have Hostess Cupcakes, Pop-Tarts, Oreos. I have Honey Made Cereal. I'm gonna smash all this for you guys and give you my thoughts as I go through it. Let's get into it. So I think I'm gonna start with the Hostess Cupcakes. I believe that this is either a new product or it's just a limited edition that they brought back. Either way, it looks really good. Let's see how it tastes. What is up guys? Welcome back to the studio on this one. I hope you're as psyched as I am for the Super S'more Show. So, I'm not gonna lie. I think my expectations were maybe a little too high for this one. While it's definitely tasty as far as Hostess uh, snack cakes and cupcakes go, it's not really much different than their golden cupcake that has a chocolate top and then a cream filling. I would have liked to have had maybe the cake be a little bit more on the cinnamon side and then maybe the filling be a little bit more marshmallow forward. As it is, it's still really tasty, but I don't know that I would go out of my way to get a whole box of these. As I'm getting through these, I do remember saying something a while back about maybe wanting to do a snack cake kind of face off between Little Debbie and Hostess and Tasty Cake. If that sounds like something you guys would be into, let me know now below in the comments section with a thumbs up. It just seems like it would be a super fun one to do. I know that there's a lot of options out there. Me personally, my favorite has always been a Tasty Cake Chocolate Junior, but let me know with a thumbs up and your favorite snack cake, and I'll see if I can feature it in the upcoming video. I think next, I'm going to move on to the cereal. I've actually never had the Honey Made S'more cereal, but I've heard that this is the best of the S'mores variety cereals. This one, I think, is just a little easier to find, so this is the one I went with. Let you guys get a closer look. Let's see how this stacks up. I definitely dig this. This reminds me of if you took Golden Grahams and essentially put maybe Count Chocula cereal almost with it, right? So like kind of Cocoa Puff chocolatey pieces and then uh, marshmallows and then just really good cinnamon graham based cereal. This is uh, a really good cereal. I would definitely come back and get this one again. Honestly, if you were to just take this and then add some melted marshmallow to it like you do with Rice Krispie Treats, you could probably make some pretty delicious s'mores bars. Might have to try that. It would essentially be like those Golden Graham cereal bars that they already have on shelves, which I may or may not be doing something with in future videos. I remember the first time ever trying to make s'mores as a kid. My brother got marshmallows, I got graham crackers, and then it was our friend who was supposed to bring the chocolate, and instead he brought gummy worms. You're killing me, Smalls. I don't know why, but that's what he brought. And the first time I had s'mores was with marshmallows, gummy worms, and graham crackers. And it's something that I think only a six or seven year old could really appreciate. My second s'mores experience was much better. Nothing like camping out in the middle of the backyard with gummy worms and graham crackers. Mmm, tasty. That finishes up the cereal. I'm gonna leave some of the milk because I have a feeling I'm gonna probably need it for one of these two. I think I'm gonna move on to the Pop-Tarts next. Without a doubt, these are definitely my favorite. I'm also team cold Pop-Tart for two reasons. One, I don't or usually have never really had like a toaster readily available. Only when I was a kid. Most of the time when I was living out on my own, it wasn't just an appliance that I went out of my way to get. And two, with Pop-Tarts, I feel like they were always kind of meant to be eaten on the go. So I always thought to just grab them and then just run out the door 
as opposed to putting them inside of the toaster. The only exception that I think I ever made with Pop-Tarts was this s'mores one. I do think it does taste better warm. Enough of that, let's smash these. Hopefully they're as good as I remember them tasting. It's the, um, the filling that does it for me on this one. The actual Pop-Tart itself is only so good on its own, but Pop-Tart really outdid themselves with the filling on this one. The chocolate is like a really rich chocolate flavor, and the marshmallow is just spot on melted marshmallow. You figure with a lot of these companies doing more filling or extra large versions of things that Pop-Tarts might have got on that bandwagon. I think that the ratios would be better if there was more filling inside of every Pop-Tart. Now that I'm about halfway through, if you guys aren't already, make sure to follow us on Instagram so that you can stay up to date with some of the more exclusive content that we have going on. Plus we do some fun reviews and then obviously the polls for the future videos. And if you enjoy the content, smash the like button. If you're new here, consider subscribing and share this video around so that we can stay bringing eyes onto the channel and grow that tasty vibe tribe. Let's get back into this. As I'm getting through these pop tarts, I now remember why I was a bigger fan of toaster strudels growing up as a kid, because these do tend to get a little bit on the dry side. Not that they're not tasty, but they are a little dry. I don't know whether or not toaster, toaster strudels has ever made a s'mores pastry. If they haven't, that would be interesting. So Mrs. Bashwood Face Off has just told me that they have. It would be awesome if they brought that back. I think that that would do well, especially in an era where nostalgia and then kind of bringing back retro food products has become popular with a lot of these package store-bought brands. I definitely have to do a video with Toaster Strudel. Maybe I can incorporate some other 90s nostalgia food in there. Last Pop-Tart. So I'm gonna move on to the Oreos next, just because I know that this is gonna be harder to do than the ice cream, and then I'm gonna probably make my way over to the Ben Jerry's after that. Okay, so Oreos, s'mores flavor, more affectionately known by people that have been waiting around for these since last summer, and the summer before that, I believe, s'moreos. I remember these being pretty tasty. It's been a little bit since I've had them. Hopefully they are as good as I remember them being. Let's see how they stack up to everything else that I've already had. Let's see how it tastes. Still a super solid cookie. So I think what makes these is the graham cookie that they use. The chocolate is good, the marshmallow is good, but that graham cookie is fantastic. It almost reminds me of a better cookie version of Teddy Grahams. If you've ever had like the cinnamon Teddy Grahams, it's pretty much that, you know, plus some chocolate and marshmallow, you can't go wrong. So I switched over the milk from the cereal into this just so that I can kind of dip it in there a little easier and add a little bit more milk. Let's see if I can get through these already. So I'm gonna pivot over to a little bit of the ice cream mainly because how dry the Oreos are is kind of making it hard to do it. And I don't want the ice cream to get too melted. So I don't remember having had this one before. So far, it's pretty solid. It is toasted marshmallow ice cream with chocolate cookie swirls, graham cracker swirls, and fudge flakes. Definitely good, it's Ben and Jerry's, it's a premium ice cream. But I would say that the goat of s'mores flavored ice cream goes to 7-Eleven, which sadly enough, they don't carry their s'mores flavored ice cream anymore. It was the best one I've ever had. A close second is this small company in the Northeast called Giffords, and they do a s'mores ice cream that's absolutely insane. It's very close to what 7-Eleven does, and uh, again, it's another premium ice cream. As this stands, this isn't bad, it's just there's some elements that aren't overly s'mores-like that kind of throw it off for me. So I'm gonna try to make this a little bit easier on myself. I'm literally gonna take the cookies and put them in the milk. I know that that's kind of cheating, kind of getting around it, but the Pop-Tarts were so dry that my jaw at this point is just tired. I'm gonna to try to put those in there to make it a little easier on myself, and I'm gonna finish this up for you guys. Not to keep making excuses for myself, but 
the uh, scheduling issues that we had had and then the short turnaround time for the video made this one a little bit harder than it probably needed to be. So last up is this. I'm gonna try to see if I can drink slash eat it and then uh, move on to the final review. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed watching me eat Oreos out of a measuring cup and stick around for the final review. Final review time. I'm gonna keep this one short because I severely underestimated how much that was gonna be. So I am pretty full and pretty tired. I think the worst of it for me was probably the, the Pop-Tarts I think are more nostalgic for me at this point than them actually being like the best product. I think Ben & Jerry's was a good ice cream. I think that they could have honestly gotten away with calling it anything else but a s'mores style ice cream and it would have been good but Calling it s'mores, you expect s'mores elements and there just really wasn't enough of that there. It just basically tasted like a glorified cookies and cream to me. I think my favorite product was the cereal, surprisingly. I think that that was spot on. S'mores flavor, you had all of the elements there. You had good texture, good flavor. I don't think that you could really ask for much more. Uh, out of everything that I had, I would readily get that product again. We'll have the calories up here for you guys. I think all the calories together were like a little over 7,000, something like that. The price is dependent on whatever supermarket you get it from. That about wraps it up for us here at Fast Food Face Off. So remember to like, share, and subscribe. And as always, if you are what you eat, always eat amazing.